On one of the hottest days of the year here in Buffalo, it's hard to think about winter right now, but that's exactly what the caretakers here at the Buffalo Naval and Military Park are doing when it comes to, yeah, there she is, the USS The Sullivans, trying to make sure that she will be prepared for the winter as well. Ship winterization work, like replacement of the rope mooring lines to protect against winter storm waves, checking installation of flooding alarms, and placing bubbling de-icers to keep damaging ice away from that very thin hull, all necessary because the planned overall restoration and repair work, meaning towing the ship to a dry dock like this elsewhere, has to be delayed. Unfortunately, we had thought that we could try and put this plan in action in 2023. However, we're a little bit short of funds, so we are going to need to do some fundraising, but we have a very aggressive plan to try and get this job done in 2024. When I say get the job done, it means to get her out of here into a dry dock for three, four months, whatever it's going to take, and then bring her back to where she belongs, which is right here on the Buffalo Harbor. That work necessary to prevent a repeat of the April 2022 leaks and flooding, which caused the ship to dangerously list and partially sink. In some places, it's as thin as an eighth of an inch. And of course, over the course of 80 years, that eighth of an inch has degraded further. Marcello estimates to just get the ship physically moved away from its berth with the bigger USS Little Rock and Croker submarine, it will cost somewhere between 10 and 12 additional million dollars. Over the next few months, you'll be seeing the crews doing more of that preparation work. You'll be able to actually see it happening with a ship right over there as they prepare it again for the winter season. Reporting for the Buffalo Naval and Military Park on your side, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.